wonder what this <gasps> is. Yeah, I did a puzzle. <laughs> I'm so proud. Aquarius. Pisces. Ooh, it's a little moon. The spouse of the current owner must reside in the manor for at least six months. Should she or what? he leave the manor before six months is up, ownership of one half of the estate immediately passes to the next legal heir. And that would be Mrs. Drake. Correct. Oh my god, it's a setup. It's a Scooby Doo setup. She's trying to. Mrs. Drake's trying to make Linda think she's turning into a werewolf so she can inherit the house. <laughs> oh! Who was that? It was totally Mrs. Drake in a costume, wasn't it? Was it? Was this? What they dropped a bunch of shit? Capture some ah! flies to feed it or something. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Did I break the game by getting in the plant? Oopsie poopsie! I wonder if it's like part of the making this is whatever more suspicious. The fact that she seems to prefer carnivorous plants. Like maybe that's part of setting her up as an evil person. Where the hell's she gone? I did a stupid... I organised a her things for her. Has she fixed this? No. Hey, Mrs. Whatever. Where have you gone? Ma'am? Can I use this computer? I wonder who Alan is. Hello, Alan. Is it one of the going to be one of the portraits and there's going to be something to do with that? I'm just going to have a quick pistachio. Maybe we can ask some people about who that is. Excuse me? Who the fuck is Alan? And what's his password? Is my guy here? No. He's got a picture of himself. As his desktop wallpaper. Nigel, I'm very intrigued by what you've learned so far at Blackmore. Good work. I can definitely see this as a bestseller if you deliver the goods. Or should I say, goodies. <gasps> he is trying to get a book deal. He's trying to uncover the, the treasures for... Riches. Why is this in a text document on his computer? Oh my god. This is the notes for his book. Albert, son of Hugo, Milo's son, studied alchemy. He used a dragon to symbolise the Athenor forge that he apparently built. But he didn't say where he built it and I cannot find it! Good, you scoundrel. Charles Penvelin, prominent and well-respected judge. Search Essex County Hall of Records for names of Penvelin employees. James never, James Penvelin never marries, yet a baby Eleanor suddenly appears in his household, sparking rumours that she is a fairy baby. Like a changeling. Cool. Eleanor's son Edward is raised by the sister of Le Comte de Roquefort in France. Check all documents in library written in French. I guess I can do that. Locate the notebook she refers to in the letter to her sister. The images on Edward's coat of arms are more, most curious. One seems to be showing some sort of direction, the chest running to the right, the guard with the spear pointing up, the crown figure motioning to the right, etc. Dig up dirt on QP. Intriguing. Fingertips for typing. Using your keyboard and working as fast as you can, type whatever appears on the balloons on the screens. Why is this not... Oh, I have to get the capital letters right? That's funny. So it kind of helps me out to just prioritise the ones that are in lowercase and numbers then, right? Why is he got this on his computer? What do oh, I play lots of silly games, I can't really judge. I mean, I'm here playing bloody Nancy Drew, so what am I, what am I saying? Uh, uh, God, it's actually quite hard. How'd I do? Yeah? Okay. Well, I've played on his computer. Oops, that's still his computer. We learned some stuff in there. We know we're looking for stuff in French.
I'm gonna go to that shelf there, so that makes me think that that might be something. Can I go over there? 14th and 15th century manuscripts. I guess maybe this is something for later. There's the law books. Intriguing. I guess we'll investigate that later on. Where's Mrs. Singamy gone? Can I sneak in the kitchen? No. Hmm. Back upstairs, I guess. It's doing the sinister music again. I don't like the sinister music. Uh. Guess she's not in her room. Okay. Hey, buddy. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. <coughs> Bye. I need the key. Okay. I do not have a key. Can I... Oh, that's the bird. Oh my god, that scared me. I'm sorry to bother you again, but Jane told me oh, about right, a yeah, lady this, in this black. Oh, right, yeah, this is probably a good idea. What lady in black? Jane never said anything to me about a lady in black. That kid is so weird, I just don't get her. Did you receive a spooky note from somebody in a Did you hood? receive a note or something that's upset you? I did receive something. But it's none of your concern. None you of your dang business. That's that. I'm sorry. Linda, you have to give me a chance. Everyone is so worried about you. If you just tell me what's happened, maybe I could help. She totally thinks she's Linda, turning into a well. I made a promise to your mother and I plan to keep it. I'm here for you when you need me. Linda? I'll be going now. Linda, do you think you're turning into a werewolf? Because don't even worry, it's okay, you're not. I'm pretty sure it's the housekeeper. Trying to get rid of you. Lulu, please. She's probably sleeping. Oh, right, it's night time. Maybe I should go to bed. I mean, I've checked every room and what's her face isn't that around, That must be so. the food I ordered. Oh, my, my bangers and mash are here! Bangers and mash, huh? Looks like sausages to me. Yes, it's sausages and mashed potato and we got this bread and butter, delicious. you silly bean. It does. It looks amazing. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't smell delicious. Mmm. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> that was really good. Great. Well. Now, now what? Are we gonna, like, clean up, or we're we just gonna go to sleep? Should I go to sleep? <coughs> Is it? What was that? The hell? Hello? She's probably sleeping. <coughs> Who's the pretty bird in the mirror? Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Say goodnight, Gracie. What's that supposed to mean? Lily, did you just Everyone's see someone? sleeping. Go to your room and set your clock. What time do most people get up around here? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Set your clock for 6 a.m. Ah, sweet dreams. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Lulu. That's Lulu's way of telling me I should go back to bed. Oops. Whoa, what's Scratch that? Scratch marks. Like something was trying to get into my room. Or... Like someone was pretending to be a wolf trying to get into my room. Okay, set the alarm for 6am. So I think I set the alarm for 10pm by mistake, maybe? Hang on. Uh, 
five, six. Right. What the fuck's that? What is that? It's Latin. Uh, oh, baby, I'd better have a look around. Is that Latin chanting at 3 a.m.? So first there's like a bear scratching on the window, now there's like Latin chanting. <laughs> Hello? Um. She's probably asleep. What, so she's sleeping through this? And I'm not. Hey Polly? I mean, Lulu? Did you hear the scary noise? The laughter? Say goodnight, Gracie. The uh, time has come for closing books. Felicity, the door, the door! What? I just want to know what that sound was. Hello? Not seeing anything around. Uh, where would that even be coming from? That looks like a vampire. I think it's just a dude that looks like a vampire though. Okay. Was it coming from... What's her face's conservatory? Maybe she's just singing to her plants in the night. It could be that. Hello, ma'am. Did you hear any chanting? Mayhaps in Latin? Do not jump in the plant. No. Oops. Nobody here. Uh, okay. Back to bed. Polly did say goodnight again, so maybe that was another clue that I should just be going back to sleep. Maybe it was just a little dream. Maybe it was just a little dream. A silly little dream. Back to bed. Why did it set to four? Okay. Well, morning. Am I gonna clean this up or like? What's that? Again, he was Randolph's grandson and the first oh. initiate. Odo did not have the proper qualities for Randolph's instruction because he was stupid. No, Jane. <laughs> Jane. It's because Randolph believed that the proper oh. qualities skip every generation. We talked about that, remember? I guess. Milo was a great soldier, just like his grandfather. And with his grandfather's help, he was victorious at Khan. That was a battle fought in 1417, during the Hundred Years' War. That's right. But I don't understand something. The Hundred Years' War lasted longer than a hundred years, right? It did. So why do they call it that? Why don't they call it the 116-year war, huh? Oh my, look at the time. <laughs> we need to go over your geometry. Please open your book to page 46 and read silently. Please read silently for a while. Come back later, please. Okay, fair enough. They are in lessons. I did hear them in lessons, so... Oops. Hey, Polly. I mean, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I keep calling you Polly. Pay attention to the bird behind the curtain. Hello! Bye, bird. Cheerio! Cheerio! Guess she's not in her room. She better be bloody Felicity, somewhere. The door, the door! I need the key. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? You're gonna need a bigger bowl. Who's Are you sure you don't want this this food that I've made just Hello. for you? No, okay. Bye, bird. Bye, bye bird. Bye, bye. Bye, buddy. Maybe she's fixed the thing for me. Well, 
Oh. I guess we'll see if she's in the garden again. Wish I could remember her name. That would make this a lot easier. Hey, lady. Oh, my yes. goodness. I spoke with Mr. Tucker at the Boar's Head Pub, but frankly, I'm not at all sure what he said. Yes, his language is quite colorful, isn't it? He's Cockney, you see. My brother Alan and I loved to make up Cockney rhymes when we were young. We drive our governess quite batty. Aww. Haven't got a pot of glue. Haven't got a pot of glue. Ah, how we teased her. Amazing. Um, The picture book in Jane's room. Do you know much about its history? My brother Alan found it somewhere in the house. He was quite fascinated by it, but he'd never let me look at it. Oh, what Alan's was your her brother, brother Alan like? Oh, he was quite remarkable. He taught linguistics and computer science and won many prestigious awards. He Ooh. loved games, especially pranks, and was forever tinkering with this and that. I do miss him sometimes, Aww. but now he's gone. He died a month after my husband passed away. And ever since I've been here all alone. Until Hugh came back from the United States, that is. Do you believe that Blackmore Manor is haunted? No, of course not. I've lived here for many, many years. And I can tell you without a doubt that absolutely no ghosts walk these halls. An occasional odd creak here and there, yes, but no ghosts. I'm still well suspicious of you. Do you know what the password is for the computer in the library? No, that was my brother's toy. Anyway, I did your stupid task. I managed to get all those seedlings back in the box. Wonderful! And I managed to find that crank. There you go. Woo! Great! Thank you. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. For a second, the way she was moving that trowel, it sounded like she was, like, it looked like she was bloody swinging a knife at me. Okay. You the <laughs> Don't be cute. I'm trying to suspect you of being an evil ne'er-do-well. Right, now I can play the card game? Hello. Okay. I still don't... I still don't know what it means though. <laughs> I still don't know what this is. Petty Penny. What? Welp. Bye, Betty. I have no idea what's going on there. Absolutely no idea. Pergamentum exit. Does that mean something? Because that must be Alan, right? So maybe... A last time we got... Is that? Creepy. Um, kind of cool. Um, last time we got Lulu to translate some Latin for us. Can we do that again? Hello! No. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. Maybe that's the password? Oh, we can do something new. Oh, no, right, my email doesn't work abroad, so that's not going to be a thing, is it? Can I search for something new on the internet? I can look up Cockney rhyming slang. Maybe I need some specific food or something? that I can like... Oh yeah, who is this person? I'll just phone them and find out. 